guys, Poli Popo here, and today I want to go ahead and show you a little bit of my sound design process. Uh, yeah, you can go into your plugins and hit up an initial patch, but uh, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just send some straight samples from the Moog into the sampler and then show you how to piece it together using your uh, sample edit, because it's pretty dope what you can do with just a sample edit. Check this out. Just a little bit. And it's the same. It's going to act the same as if we were going to add our own wobbles or whatever it is from our synthesizers. Yeah. I, I like to use the hardware synths because I can get up and move around and twist knobs, but you can do the same right here. So check this out. All we're going to do is hit edit audio and all I've been doing is take this here and hit browse samples, right? I put these samples in already. But say you hit browse samples and I don't, I don't have any audio samples in there. So I'm just going to select this sample and put it on bar 8, beat 1 and hit do it. And it's right here, right? So, I'm going to put one on five, six, seven, and eight. Let's see, I'm going to go to six. Browse samples. Do it. I put that sample there. I tap over here, browse sample. Bar seven. I'm going to put that. Is that the same one? Probably. Browse sample. Just put that there, okay? All I'm doing is assigning these samples and moving them where I want them uh, randomly, really. You can chop up how long you want them or whatnot. And this is just a different workflow for me. I never, I don't like this, <laughs> but we're going to use this. All right, so we got uh, eight bars. We're going to go for, we're going to do that. So we just randomly put these different drum sounds or samples uh, in here. So what you want to do is, Make sure that you're in audio and that your monitor is on. And then when you hit edit audio, it, you're not going to hear anything. So you have to hit this up and adjust your program volume with this pencil. Okay. It's really, really dope. And then you hit play. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. Uh, so any noise that you make, save it make a bunch of different wobbles, um, make a bunch of different anything really. Just save your samples and mess with them like that. I guarantee if I were to drop a beat over this it would sound great. Right on guys, that's all I got for today.